Hey Charlie, I'm gonna go ahead and record a quick video for you uh, to show you how uh, we do DNA to RNA, uh, to tRNA to amino acids. Um, and I just misplaced my marker. Okay, I'm back. Um, I actually just recorded the whole video and then realized that the camera was pointing down here. So sadly, I will do it again. Uh, the good news is I've had a little bit of practice. So, um, the general idea is that DNA is double-stranded. What that means is you've got two opposite complementary strands um, connected by those base pairs. The word complementary just means they fit well together. It doesn't mean they're the exact same, but it means they fit well, kind of like an intertwining puzzle piece. So if we kind of zoom in on this, we see that every place that you have an A, that's a, it's called adenine, it's a base, that pairs up with a T on the other side. And I'm gonna check the camera and make sure you can see this. Can you see this? Yes, you can, perfect. Um, every place that we have a G pairs up with a C. Every place that there is an A, it pairs up with, oops, sorry, I did that one. Every place you have a T, it goes with an A. Every place you have a C, it goes with a G. So, long story short, if I've got a sequence on this side, uh, what I'm referring to as our original sequence, so if I've got, we'll call it G, C, G, A, T, T, you can predict what that complementary strand will look like. G goes with C, C goes with G, G goes with C, A goes with T, T goes with A, T goes with A. So this right here is our complementary strand. This was our original. So when it's time to make a protein in your body, your body actually goes and refers to this DNA. It actually unzips this DNA so it can read it. So I'm gonna actually erase that original strand now. And that complementary DNA gets read by mRNA or the mRNA gets built from it. This is kind of basically what happens. So if we had a C over here, we're gonna start making a new strand over here. Every place we have a C, we put a G. Every place we have a G, we put a C. Every place we have a C, we put a G. Every place we have a T, we put an A. Now here's where it gets a little bit weird. RNA, RNA uses, use instead, or we'll write it this way. Instead of T's, it has U's. There are no T's, no thymines in RNA. It's just uh, just uracil, U. So opposite the A, we actually have a U, and then opposite this A, we have another U. Okay, after that copy gets made of the mRNA in your nucleus, that mRNA leaves the nucleus. Um, it's a really small molecule, so it can fit through that uh, nuclear membrane and go out into the endoplasmic reticulum where they start to build a protein from these in this set of instructions. So, I'm gonna use a third color, red. We have these things called tRNAs that come in. tRNA stands for transfer RNA. So if it senses that code GCG, well, the sequence C, C, oh, I can't draw right now, C, G, C, that tRNA comes it matches up with that, and it attached has an amino acid. We use this amino acid chart um, to do that. I'll look up GCG, GCG, that is alanine. So A, L, A, alanine. Uh, if you don't have this chart, I, I linked this in the email that I'm sending to you. Uh, really careful thing is that we always read, read the mRNA. So when you are using this chart, this pattern, I always look at what the mRNA is, not what that tRNA was that came in here. Okay, so AUU, the tRNA UAA will come pair up with that, and the amino acid that it's carrying, look up AUU, so AUU, and that, I just looked away. Uh, AUU is isoleucine, which has the abbreviation I-L-E. So that comes in here. Now, 
alanine and the isoleucine pair up. Um, these guys actually are going to start leaving, they go away, and we've got that amino acid chain growing. That's what a protein is, is that chain of amino acids all coming together. So this is a big long process that leads to, uh, or goes from reading your DNA and ultimately making proteins from the instructions that are in your DNA. So I hope that video helps you. Um, I'm glad that I got practice by recording a wrong video first, and I hope that your leg starts to feel better. That looked pretty gruesome when you showed me those x-rays last week. So I hope you're feeling better. Uh, if you're here tomorrow or Monday, I can help you with more of this, or uh, let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks, Charlie.